In this video, I'll try to answer a simple question. Will any of these models run on my laptop? So here's my plan. So I'll use for each of these model, I'll use the versions available on Olama. Uh, the Olama team has been doing a great job of integrating all of these models in their uh, software. So first, what I'll try for each of these models, I'll try the default option, which is the 4-bit uh, quantized version. So that's what I'll try. For the large models, if they don't quite work on my machine, what I'll do then is I'll try the 2-bit quantized version. I, I, I'm not too hopeful for these, but I, I mean, we'll, we'll try them. Uh, and then uh, for the smaller models, what I'll do is I'll either try the Q5, the 5-bit version, or the floating point 16-bit version, even for the smallest models, to kind of see what the performance trade-offs are for these. So it's not a video in which I'll be doing any benchmarking. So I'm not doing any benchmarks. I'm just kind of seeing whether they will actually run on my machine. There are plenty of benchmarks for different versions. I'll, I'll be trying them out like these, those that work in the coming weeks. Uh, but here, I just want to figure out, will they actually run on my machine? So we'll start with the largest models, probably with like dramatic failures. And then we'll go on to the smallest models, which I'm pretty sure will work fine on my machine. This is Vincent Codes Finance, a channel about coding for finance research and sometimes about machine learning. If that's something that interests you, please subscribe. So what's my machine? Well, I've got a pretty decent laptop. I've got a MacBook Pro M3 with 64 gigs of RAM. I ordered that MacBook just before I started playing with Olama and large language model. Now I wish that I would have boosted the RAM, but that's what I have to play with. So for running my models, I'll use Olama and I'll also use a UI called Open Web UI. If you're not familiar with those and you want to install them as well, I have another video linked in the description that explains all the setup to install Olama and Open Web UI. The first model I'm going to try today is DBRX from Databricks. It was released in late March, but it just became available on Olama this week. It is a very, very large model, 132 billion parameters. To be honest, I wasn't expecting to be even able to try it on my machine. <laughs> DBRX is a mixture of expert model. It has 132 billion parameters, but only 36 billion of them are active at any given point in time. So they use their own open license. I haven't looked at the details, so I'm not quite sure what the restrictions are for this one. Let's try it now with Open Web UI. Like any of these models today, what I will be doing is I'll be using one of the suggested prompts from Open Web UI. And if I get an answer in a reasonable time, I'll follow up with a kind of follow up prompt. It took 85 seconds for me to see the first token. I'll leave it in real time for you just to get the sense of the speed. And then I'll speed it up. So as we can see, it's running the model on the CPU, not on the GPU. So it is very, very, very slow. So I sped it up and stopped it after three minutes, 17 seconds. So that's all I got within that time. Definitely not something I would use as a daily driver. Now let's try with the 2-bit version. Maybe we'll get better results. Well, the load time is actually longer. It took me longer, 106 seconds. And as we can see, just doesn't work out of the box. Maybe I've got something wrong. Maybe I should do some tweaks. I don't know. I don't have time for that. It just, it doesn't work out of the box. Let's move on to our second model, Wizard LM2. 
eight times 22 billion. So Wizard LM2, it's from Microsoft. It's their new model that has disappeared from the internet. If we look at their uh, tweet, it seems like they forgot to do some testing before releasing it, but yeah, no backseas, it's open source. So models are there, they're available. We can still play with them. So let's try them out. So this model comes in three versions, but only two are available now on Olama, the eight times 22 billion uh, model and the seven billion model, which we'll try last. So what type of model it is? Well, we don't quite know. At least I can figure out any decent information uh, from the announcement post that was uh, then removed from the, from the web. What I infer from the name and from the kind of little information I could get is that it is probably a mixture of expert model with 141 billion parameter context size, no idea. And the license is the Apache 2.0 license. This model took 96 seconds to give me the first token. I let it run for a while. Now we're seeing it in real time. And now let me speed it up again. When I stop it, it, it will have run for two minutes and 27 seconds. Okay. okay, let's see if we can get a better performance with the two bit model. So we'll try it out. Actually loaded in 79 seconds, but then the result was garbage. So no use to it. Our next model is Comet R plus from Cohere, which is a model that is optimized for business applications. And that is also, as they state, supposed to be really good for, uh, doing rag. So retrieval augmented generation, uh, that's what the model is about. It is big as well. So let's try it out. See if we can get something better out of it. Common R plus was released uh, two weeks ago, but it actually only became available on Olama this week. It has 104 billion parameters in a really large context uh, window. The weights are released under a creative commons license, but you also need to adhere to the acceptable use policy. So the initial load time was fairly long, uh, 192 seconds. In this case, this is the real time generation pace. And now I'll speed it up. And this is what has been generated in two minutes and 50 seconds. I've been unsuccessful so far with the two bit model, but let's try it again, just in case and see what we get. 
So we actually get a faster load time. So it took 81 seconds to load this model and get to the first token. And after that, well, it's the first two bit model that actually runs. So I don't know whether the quality of the answers are good. I'm not doing any benchmarking, but actually it runs and does a decent uh, performance. So if I speed it up again and we look at the final result for the first prompt, I actually had a response token speed of 4.16 tokens per second, which is decent. Uh, now let me try a follow-up prompt. And for this prompt, we got a speed of 2.51 tokens per second. So not as fast, but it's still in a kind of usable range. Our last very large model that I'm expecting to be again too large for my uh, laptop is the Mixtral 8 times 22 billion uh, model. So I've been using Mixtral for a couple of weeks. They had released a smaller version a couple of weeks ago. And at that time, that was pretty much the uh, best model that was available. Uh, but now they've released a larger version. So let's see how it, uh, how it fares. This new version of Mixtral is what they call a sparse mixture of expert model, which has 141 billion parameters with 39 billion parameters that are active on any input. The context size is 64K. And it is, as far as I understand everything and all the details, the only truly open source model that has no other restrictions than the very, very few and the clauses that are in the Apache 2.0 license. Mixtrol took 87 seconds to give me the first token back from my prompt. As we can see, it is also very, very, very slow. If I speed it up, I'll stop it uh, after four minutes, two seconds. So this is what has been generated in four minutes, two seconds. Again, not suitable for a daily driver. They do have a two-bit quantized version on Olama. Let's try this one, see if we can actually get something decent out of it, as we did with Common R+. This one took 75 seconds to load, but then the result is, again, garbage. So not really usable out of the box. Now let's move on to Llama Tree. So it was kind of unofficially announced earlier this uh, month that it was coming, uh, but only this week was it uh, announced and released on the same day it was available on Olama. So kudos to the Olama team for uh, great work on <laughs> making this available right away. So the big model is 70 billion parameter long. The context window I couldn't get from the announcement was the maximum context window uh, for this model. All they said in the blog post is that they're working on making the context window longer in future versions. So I don't know what it is. We'll have to, to try it out. They have their own custom license. So it's not a truly open source model as say Mixtral uh, would be, uh, but still it's available and we can play with it. So let's play with it. So the loading time was quite reasonable, 76 seconds for me to get the first token back from my answer. And if we look at this first kind of prompt uh, answer, we get that the speed was actually 8.03 tokens per second, which is reasonable. Now, if I continue with my second prompt, speed it up, look at the result, 7.71 token per second. Yeah decent so that's definitely usable especially if the results are good and worth it i'll have to uh, play a bit more with it to kind of get a sense of how good this model is so the four bit quantized version worked pretty well now let's try the five bit version so slightly larger model yeah as we can see it does top uh, the memory on my laptop 
but it runs. It took 98 seconds to give me the first token back. And I, if I look at the speed, I get a decent 3.59 token per second. So in the same order of speed as I got from the common R plus 2-bit model. With the follow-up prompt, I get a speed of 4.12 token per second, which is in the kind of same order of magnitude. I'll have to play and see what's the difference in quality between the 5-bit version and the 4-bit version. Uh, but definitely the 5-bit is pushing my machine to the limit. Now let's try the smallest version of Llama 3, so 8 billion parameters. I'm pretty sure this one would just fly on my machine because that was the case with Llama 2. So I'm expecting really good speed for such a small model. So let's try it out. The load time, very impressive at uh, 10 seconds uh, for me to get the first token back. That was amazing. If we look at the speed for my first uh, prompt response, we get a speed of 39.71 token per second, which is amazing. Uh, for the follow-up prompt, even faster, uh, I'm at 51.12 token per second. So definitely usable. The memory footprint is very, very small. So I can have that open as the same time as many other uh, software on my machine. So that would be great. I'll, again, I'll have to try and see what's the performance of that model, but definitely that could be something that is always on on my machine and I would barely notice it. By default, Olama has us on a 4-bit quantized version of the model. But for a, such a small model, I can actually run it on a full 16-bit faulting point version. So let's try it out. Load time, a bit longer. So the first token came back after 29 seconds. And the speed is also a bit lower. If I go to the end, we're at 21 tokens per second, which is still pretty, pretty decent. Uh, for the second prompt, go to the end, we get 20.67 tokens per second, so roughly the same speed. So we're a bit like around half the speed as the quantized version, but still pretty, pretty decent. Finally, we're at our last model. So we're going back to Wizard LM2, but to their smallest version, which is a 7 billion parameter uh, model. I'm expecting this one to be the fastest because it's the smallest, but we'll have to see. Um, so the load time for the 4-bit version, 8 seconds. Like 8 seconds to the first token, that's amazing. The speed, yeah, it is the fastest. So if we go till the end, for the first prompt, 57 tokens per second. For my second prompt, 51, 52 tokens per second. That's blazing fast, right? And the memory footprint is super small. Now let's try the 16-bit floating point version. Load time, a bit longer, 27 seconds to the first token. Uh, and the speed were, we're in the range of about 22 tokens per second for my first answer. For my second answer, roughly the same speed again, 22 seconds per second. So this is blazing fast. I'll have to play with these models, the Llama Tree and the Wizard LM2, the smallest version, to actually see whether the floating point 16-bit version gives better results than the 4-bit quantized version. I'll have to play with those to kind of get a sense of is it worth it running these slightly slower and slightly more memory hungry versions of these models? So if we look at the overall results, well, all the large model actually ran on my machine, but they all ran on the CPU, not the GPU. So they were very, very, very slow. So if all you want to do is try them out to see what kind of quality they have, you can except for common R+, the 2-bit version actually ran out of the box on my machine. So at a decent speed, so not too f fast, right? So not something that 
you can uh, will enjoy working with because it's still a bit slow, but it will actually work. So if the result is worth it, then maybe you'll be happy with that one. When we go to the smaller models, well, Llama Tree 70 billion uh, was quite decent, decent speed. I see that as being usable if the quality is worth it, but it will use a lot of the RAM on my machine. So it's a, a concern if I want to use it at the same time as I'm using kind of other memory hungry uh, software. And it might also be a concern if you have less than 64 gigs of RAM on your machine. But if we get to the smallest models, so the Llama Tree 8 billion or the Wizard LM 7 billion models, these are just blazing fast on my machine and the memory footprint is barely noticeable. So this will be probably kind of the go-tos as the default models for most of what I do going forward, at least for the next couple of weeks until we get a new batch of new, faster, better models. So that's it for this uh, video. If you enjoyed, please like and consider subscribing so that you get notified of my future videos.